Alright, this I hope this will be an abbreviated video on how to launch an external graphics system. Well, mine is quite elaborate here with uh, uh, well, three main components, the power supply and the graphics card itself and a uh, laptop and I'll go through the process of allowing this thing to connect to my external monitor which is here. So Okay. Boot into Windows. I just connected the express card into the laptop. And I'm going to choose the do-it-yourself software. I'll have to use that initially to set up the system. And then it will remain set up until I disconnect the express card here. So, great thing about this system is you still have a portable laptop. And you also have a gaming system when you need that. And this video assumes that you've already performed a DSDT override according to the website where I got the information. That website is www.egpu.io. And the computer just shuts down on that it always cycles down and then it'll reboot and this video also assumes that uh, you have the latest update to the Windows 10 the Windows 10 S system installed because that has made this a whole lot easier now we're into the software setup for the eGPU unit I just simply used option number two which is automated it's an automated battery and it's just going automatically into the automated system that's it and what that, that has done is it has, has allowed the laptop to read uh, I believe it's a 36-bit bridge through the express cable Um, the laptops are configured from the factory to read only up to, I think it's four or five gigabytes. And this one is allowing it to uh, run up to 56, I think is the highest gigabyte connection. So it's allowing the system to use that external graphics card. And the uh, software can be had on eBay for $15 and there is no other way to get this system to work uh, and the software is uh, written in DOS which is a language that fires up before the actual Windows language fires up
All right, so let's just uh, turn this monitor on and make sure it's set up for, it will usually turn on if it's set up through the right channel, which is the right source, which is for me, I'm doing this manually now, will be the HDMI. Yeah, there it came up. So I am up and running. Uh, it took about five minutes to get the system up and running. And uh, there is a blank screen on the laptop, which is what I want. And uh, in addition, I will provide a link in this video to both the website where you can do the DSDT override and also, um, I'll put a link to another YouTuber that has a video on how to use the redundant cores of your processor, which I've done for game performance. Uh, this laptop is old, and, and it's only a dual-core processor, a 2.8 du dual-core in nature, um, but I followed a YouTuber's advice, and I am now running all four cores which for gaming is fantastic so I'll add those two links to this video but you're looking at about a five minute setup to get the uh, eGPU running hope you enjoyed this video